ชุกอร์นะกะชลัมจงอุดดองซันฮีมาการนงยะลัมจงกะเซงคองเกรสกะกองอัมปรินเลงโดเฮเนกะสงีฮะบากะลีฮะลอร์กะไกพอร์ด
that the chief ministers of the 21st century take a new uh, look or a new approach on solving the interstate border issues. So I think that both Honorable Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and Honorable Chief Minister uh, of Assam have done a good job by realizing that the institution of uh, Government of India uh, sponsored uh, commissions may not be the correct approach to sort this problem out. It's a good thing that the Government of India today has listened to the recommendation of the chief ministers of the two states and have decided that the best way out would be to inter alia work jointly between the states of Assam and Meghalaya and to immediately go to ground zero to verify facts, verify locations, verify the ethnicity of people residing in those regions. They even went to the furthest extent of studying uh, the epics of citizens. So this is all ground zero information and data collection. Because our members were members of these regional committees, we know that the committees have done a justified job. They have been very thorough. So if you ask me, why is it that the border dispute dialogue could not result positively in the previous years, I would say this, that today the approach to governance has changed 360 degrees. Today we have leaders who are far more qualified, far more uh, educated and who are already in position not to obey a notification of a commission which is likely away from the people of the state. You will notice that today the regional committee is constituted by MDCs, MLAs. Now that in itself indicates that these are the correct people to evaluate. It is not the survey of India as was done in the past and it is not a distant officer sitting in an office in Delhi that will decide our boundaries. So this approach, I must say, has been a good approach. We have to give it to the state government for coming up with this ingenuine idea. But we must also remember that in the former years, all information collected by those commissions have also been part of the study of the regional uh, committees of this generation. So I believe that that would have been the best thing to do. And that was the best thing uh, that could have been done. Now, question only remains, will these two chief ministers obey what recommendations were given by the regional committees? Because it has been kept silent, secret, we don't know. We know that we are also privy to the information of the regional committees. Even those documents, even if those documents are not made public, our members will be in authority to take out to the public any other misread uh, calculation of, 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 of these committees. But we must have faith in the system that has been put in place and I'm sure that if they go by the recommendations of the regional committees, the state of Meghalaya stands to gain in the long run. And our imaginations to take over the rationale of our thinking. Our two members have put the correct projections before the regional committees. We will not preempt the announcements to be made. And we must remember that the government of Meghalaya stands behind para 20 of the Sikh schedule, which anyways contends 
the original projection of the boundary of these two states as announced in 1971. We have the backing of the Para 20, which is an important document that will give the government of Meghalaya all necessary pressure and knowledge. We will not concede. And that is why when these committees were formed, we were happy that they have let the people of the two states to decide on their own boundaries. That is why we say a democratic approach would have been the correct thing to do so that you just place the icing on the cake. We may be given a cake without icing tomorrow. We don't know. But why should we even imagine that it is going to go anti-people of Meghalaya? We would have done it otherwise. But we are not in office. And if somebody is doing it and has taken the correct initiatives, why would we doubt them? If there is any deviation from the recommendations of our committees where the two MLAs were members of those committees, we will find and we will find our own space or we will take a call. But right now, we don't want to preempt anything. Because if you preempt, you create confusion. If you create confusion, it is going to be dangerous for the people of the state of Meghalaya. We do not want to pour petrol on a fire. We would rather douse the fire and wait for the announcement of the government of Meghalaya. To be discussed. We are a legislator. We stand by constitution. And it is very clear that Paratunti clearly mentioning about the jurisdiction of the then United Khasijan Tehra District Council. It clearly says that the boundary of the United Khasijan Tehra District Council will be the as well Khasi states. That is the very important stand in the Paratunti. So during statehood 1972, before statehood, we come with a Northeast Reorganization Act 1971. It means that we have two important papers. One is 1971 Northeast Reorganization Act. Number two is Para 20 of the Sixth Street. The point is, I think the committee considered by the two states should stand by the Constitution. Means. Para 20 of the 60 and the Northeast Reorganization Act 19, uh, 1971. I am very confident that the two chief ministers, when they submit a report recommended by the regional committees, should be based on the two important papers, that is Para 20 and Northeast Reorganization Act 1971. Uh, because as of now we cannot give any comment. It may be in our favor, it may be in of our favor, but we cannot say anything right now. But what we stand is that the jurisdiction of the Khasi state, that is the jurisdiction of the state of Megalia and the Khasi the most difficult. I am very confident that the two chief ministers sitting along with the home minister will discuss the para 20 the Northeast Revolution Act 1971, and come into a conclusion that the boundary between Assam and Meghalaya should be the boundary of the Kasi state. That is very, very clear. Stuff.